Market perception creates market force, anchored to investment mandates of asset managers and equity funds, which require investment grade ratings to purchase sovereign bonds. If a sovereign loses its investment grade, the country is punished with decreased investments, higher borrowing costs, and we also face a wave of sell-offs with capital exiting out of the borders and triggering domino chains, painful economic harms, with currency depreciations, increasing debt and import bills, foreign exchange reserve buffers decreasing, and cost of living crises uh, being stoked as the real value of wages plummet. Ratings are also for cyclical. During economic upswings, ratings are overly optimistic and thus fuel excessive borrowing. During economic downturns, such as in the pandemic and a few years ago, ratings are bent toward downgrades at the very moment when countries require liquidity to respond to urgent national health and economic needs. Rating agencies weaponize climate collapse and emergencies. In the October 2022 floods in Pakistan, which devastated 30% of the country, the Fitch rating agency downgraded Pakistan immediately after the floods. This is um, quite the opposite of climate reparations. So we call for three recommendations. First, in alignment with calls made by the UNSG, UTAD, and UN ECLA create publicly owned and multilateral credit rating agencies that promote global public goods and avoid being both market evaluators and market players simultaneously. Second, regulate and reduce reliance on rating agencies, including by suspending sovereign downgrades during times of climate collapse or economic crises, as well as pandemics and inflationary spikes. And third, the methodology of rating agencies must be fundamentally reformulated to adopt indicators aligned with the SDGs, environmental, human rights, and gender equality commitments. In conclusion, rating agencies act as de facto supranational and unelected policy makers and movers across developing countries, in turn shaping economic realities, even while their methodology and effects manifest fundamental contradictions with the most basic elements of democracy. Thank you.